we came up here. I wanted to show Courtney what Grace Lake looked like. And <laughs> it's a moat. What are we doing today, wife? In 2021, we sold our home to explore the RV lifestyle in the world around us. Welcome, Welcome to, to Minimalish. Minimalish. There's not much left because of the drought, unfortunately. All the water went into this lush green, which you don't see anywhere else. Yeah, nice and pretty green, but that's all there is to it. So we didn't film yesterday. Uh, yesterday was Saturday. We didn't film, but we went into town and had to go to Walmart to get things that we needed for the camper yet. And uh, what else did we do? We went and had to switch our phones. Courtney got some actual hiking shoes. I did. Rather than flip flops. Nice shoes. Which comes in handy around here because yep. everything is a hike. We're settling in pretty good and uh, we're hoping to show you some cool adventures and we'll see how uh, today shapes up. We have decided since we're only 15 miles away, we're gonna go up and I'm gonna show Courtney uh, Lassen National Park for the first time. And we're just gonna kind of do a quick not drive, through. A, drive through it, just a tour of it. There's lots to see there. It's more than a one day, one afternoon sort of deal. Uh, as far as the dogs, Gus and Bruce, they are safe and sound uh, at home in the camper with the AC on. So it's a comfortable 72 degrees for them and will be all day and they're used to uh, used to us being gone for a few hours at a time because we have to work. All right, so we arrived at Lassen National Park, as you see, and uh, we're at the visitor center. We're gonna check that out. Um, I, because of my disability, which I don't very often use for my own advantage, um, am able to get a uh, National Parks Pass, go to any national park. Uh, I was able to get that for free, so that's pretty cool. And as long as I bring this, any car that I am in, everyone in the car also gets in for free. So that's pretty neat. And uh, like I said, I don't use that very often, um, but it'll come in handy because I plan to come here quite a bit. So we're gonna check out the visitor's center. We're gonna check out the visitor's center and then uh, kind of continue through the park and uh, check it out, kind of, kind of do a car tour this time and we'll do more in-depth tours and hikes later, so but I hope you enjoy it. Come on along. Well, I'll explain it a little more, but Lassen is a volcanic mountain and it last exploded in 1915. And uh, it's still considered a active, but dormant volcano. So it's sleeping, but it can be unsleeping at any time. I don't mind me. Yeah, we were just talking about the heat. It's about 82 up here, which is nice, and there's no humidity, uh, which we're not used to, because in Michigan, it's always humidity. Get you out of the sun here. But we we wanted to check out this little creek. We, As you probably have guessed with us being from Michigan and the Great Lakes and all, we're big fans of water. So we'll probably stop at every water thing we come into. Just because you are disabled doesn't mean you can't enjoy the park. There's a lot of it that is handicap accessible. Oh, for sure. For um, those in wheelchairs and 
walkers and different things so you'll still be able to enjoy quite a bit of these parks absolutely yeah so if you live near one or you're traveling near one uh, definitely get out and enjoy what you can so because it's beautiful well this park is it, it, thanks in part to uh, the Loomis family Benjamin and Estella he says in 1914, I climbed to the top of Lassen Peak six times taking pictures. I realized that if the mountain should blow off while I was looking into the crater, I would not be here to tell the tale. But for all that, I never experienced the feeling of fear. For I was there to take pictures, and the pictures were the principal object of my thoughts. He was not scared at all. And then in 1915, it exploded. Here's a picture of the 1915 eruption. None of them have the peak. That's amazingly powerful. Pretty. Three. Then his fourth shot. I mean, he's not very far from this at all. Beautiful, beautiful meadow at the base of this mountain. Gorgeous. I can't zoom because of wow. GoPro's inability to do that, but so pretty. Quite stunning. Very, very stunning place to be. Even in the haze um, from all the fires and stuff, it's still super stunning. I love it here. Oh yeah, that's the, uh, what do they call that? Devil's Eye or something? See that? Oh. That little thing right there? Thing that you... I know. Uh, <laughs> that hole that you're talking about? Yeah. That, where it looks like it's got like a circle like this with a split with this, middle? Yeah. That's, I think they call it the Devil's Eye. Okay. I could be wrong, but I think that's the name of it. Alright, so we have made it to the crown jewel of Lassen Volcanic National Park. Mount Lassen itself. This is the parking lot for the hiking trail. Uh, it's, I believe, three and a half miles up. I don't know. We can verify that in a minute. We're not doing it today, but we will be doing it. Right, Courtney? Yes. And then we will go home and cry. <laughs> so, this whole trip into Lassen, every time I see something cool, I'm like, well, this sucks. It doesn't suck, I'm just playing. And, uh, man, it's so pretty here. So stunning. Again, this is in Northern California about an hour's drive east of Redding, which Redding is along I-5. So if you're ever interested, come up to the park. It's gorgeous. Uh, probably 100 degrees in Redding right now, and it's 74 at 8,511 feet. 
Just gorgeous. Two and a half miles to the peak. Not bad. We are at 8,500 feet here in the parking lot and we climb the summit is 10,457 feet. Most people make the hike in four to five hours. When we do it, we'll be coming here at, at daybreak to maximize the stay out of the sunness um, and the time that I need uh, to hike because I hike quite a bit slower. So, and I've never climbed a mountain before ever, but I'm anxious to do this. Yeah, so we decided to climb up as much as we could handle today. Face that way. We got that far. That far. <laughs> That distance is maybe 70 yards. That's so awesome. So awesome to be here. This is so cool. You definitely want to, as the warning said, you want to stay on the, on the path because you can get burned real easy by this stuff. It's hot. And I don't know if you can see it, but way down there is some water that I'm sure is boiling. And it is gorgeous, but man, does it stink. It stinks so bad. <laughs> We've got to get out of this stench. No, Stench? We're going to stand here a while. <laughs> and enjoy the not as smelly as me. I didn't say you smell, I said your fart smell. Yeah, everybody's fart smell. So beautiful. So this is gonna wrap up our our Lassen car trip. We will be here for other episodes to see other parts of the of the park a little slower. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like sub and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Yeah, that. And hit the notification bell. And uh, we appreciate it. And we will see you next time on Minimalish. Bye, bye, guys.